This is Omachi 3.0 running on my laptop and guess what? This OS is next level. Omachi is opinionated Arch Linux plus Hyperlin configuration created by DHH. The core part of Omachi combines Hyperlin running on top of Arch Linux offering a stable experience. Now let's take a look at what's new in Omachi 3.0. And I will also show you how to install Omachi Hyperlint on your computer in under 5 minutes. Omachi 3.0 is a major upgrade for new installations and a fantastic update for existing users. The new ISO file doesn't require internet connection and you can install it in less than 2 minutes on faster systems. So everything is bundled right inside the ISO and you don't need to type a single command to install the all new Omachi 3.0. Omachi 3.0 now brings support for Intel based MacBooks. This means you can clean install Omachi on any Intel based Mac, even those with T1 or T2 security chips. Now as you can see, I have installed it on my 2020 Intel based MacBook and it works absolutely fantastic. The touch bar controls, keypad, trackpad, Wi-Fi, sound, everything functions perfectly. Now by far, this is the only distro that runs natively on Intel Macs without any major issues. But thanks to custom kernel and optimized drivers, Omachi Hyperlint runs incredibly smooth on Mac hardware. Omachi 3.0 comes with a custom installer that makes the installation process completely hassle-free. It's a simple bash script that lets you install Omachi 3.0 in just a few minutes. Now let me show you how to install Omachi 3.0 on your computer in under 5 minutes. Now for this demonstration, I will be installing Omachi on my laptop along a side Windows operating system. I have already allocated a dedicated empty drive specifically for this installation. Now with that said, let's get started with the Omachi installation process. Now first, head over to the Omachi website and download the latest ISO image. Then download Rufus or HR. Once both files are downloaded, place them somewhere for easy to access. It's time to create a bootable USB with Omachi. You'll need USB pen drive with at least 16 GB of space, then plug it into your computer. Now for this video, I will be using HR to burn the Omachi ISO file. Now simply import the ISO file. Select the drive and click on flash. Once the flashing process is complete, restart your PC or laptop. While your system is rebooting, enter into BIOS settings. Now use the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. Now mostly it could be F2, F9 or the escape key. In my case, my computer boots into the startup menu and I press F10 to access the BIOS setup. In the UFI BIOS, enable USB boot, then disable secure boot, which is very important. Otherwise, Omachi may not boot. Then change the boot order by setting the USB drive as primary boot device. Now once done, save the changes. Your system will now boot into the Omachi installer from the USB drive. If it doesn't, use the boot menu to load Omachi install media. 
you will now see a CLI environment. If the font size looks too small, press the escape key twice to quit the installer. Then run this command and press enter to increase the console font size. It's time to install Omachi. Now go ahead and type this command to launch the automated script. Now use the arrow keys to navigate through the options and press enter to confirm selections. Now choose your system language. Next, go ahead and create a user account. Then enter your full name and optionally an email address for Git authentication. Then set a house name. Just press enter to keep the default Omachi. Then select your time zone. To filter, type forward slash and enter your city name. Select it and press enter. Once it's done, you will see summary. Just press yes to confirm. Next, select the disk where you want to install Omachi. I will be using my dedicated 120 gig SSD. Select it, press enter and confirm yes to format the drive. Now the installation process will begin. Sit back and relax. It may take a while. Now once complete, your system will reboot and ask you to remove the USB drive. After that, your system will boot directly into the Omachi desktop. This is how you properly install Omachi Hyperlint on your computer in just a few minutes. After booting into Omachi, type your password and press enter. The first thing you should do after installing Omachi 3.0 is connect to Wi-Fi network. Now simply click on the Wi-Fi icon. Then press the tab key to highlight your network. Now press the space bar to enter the password. And once you're done, press enter to connect to the network. Next, click on the start menu at the top left and select the option to update Omachi. Once the update is complete, Reboot your system. After that, press Super plus K. The Super key is the Windows key on your keyboard. This will display a list of key bindings for apps, window management, workspaces, and much more. I strongly recommend reading the list and memorizing a few shortcuts. For example, to close any app window, you can press super plus W and the escape key for closing the pop-ups. Now press super plus enter to open the terminal. At the top of the screen, you will see the way bar with several controls. On the left, you will find the Omachi start menu, where you can launch apps, customize hyperlink, and much more. Next to it, you will see the workspace switcher, allowing you to quickly switch between workspaces.
You can also use the keyboard shortcut super plus a number 0 to 9 to jump directly between them. Now pressing super plus escape key opens the Omachi power menu. There you can lock, suspend, relaunch hyperlink, restart or shut down your computer. On the right side of the V bar, you will see system controls, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, sound, CPU usage, battery status, and much more. Now, hovering over each icon gives you detailed information. Omachi also comes with the Rofi app launcher. The press super plus spacebar to open it. Now from here, you can search for any installed application and launch it instantly. You don't need to use the mouse. Now this makes navigating your system incredibly fast and efficient. And that's a quick look at Omachi 3.0. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KS Kirayo. I will see you in the next one.